<laughs> Y'all do the live show every every day. Who have you been enjoying watching play like this current NBA basketball? I'm one of those dudes, man, that I'm I'm updated to the game. Yep. I like it, right? All of these niggas is good, right? Um they different, right? They not they not us. They themselves, just like we not the 90s. The 90s not the 80s. The 80s not the 70s, right? If everybody stay in their time frame, use the shit yep. in your time frame. Yeah. Right? When you start saying, I can do, shut up. Yeah. Right? These little niggas will bop the fuck out you. Facts. Yeah. Right? Just like right now, when 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 we go to the park and be like, y'all, nigga, I'm an NBA player, motherfucker overseas, nigga, whooping your ass because yeah. you ain't him no more. Yeah. You was him that, when you was his age, yes, you would have got him, but you ain't that age no more. Yeah. Right? So stop talking like you. Yeah, like you I'm, gotta, I don't go, let it go. I don't go around saying, nigga, I, I would have killed, you know, Curry and his. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah. I killed the niggas I was playing against. These niggas is updated versions. The niggas after them about to be updated, updated it's versions. It's going to be more. Right? Yeah. You know what I mean? There's going to be a nigga stop. that probably jump over the motherfucking rim. Like, yeah. Like, it, but, it, it's just. See, that's the thing, man. It's, and it's, a, it's becoming a problem. It's comparison. Comparison is the thief of joy. That's why all these people is upset all the time. They mad because they comparing themselves to somebody else. Just like my man's KG and Paul Pearson, the little statement he made about um I don't think anybody in, in that generation could have yeah, played bro. twenty years ago. Play it, Nick. I don't think anybody in this generation could have played like 20 years ago. If I'm being 100, and this is that. Everybody in our league, all y'all, let me tell y'all something, bro. 20 years ago, bro, you couldn't get to a triple step back. And then if you shot that sh it had to go in. Because we had, we had efficiency back in the day, my dude, and it was so hard. It was too physical. And guess what? The league had to come off of it for the flow of movement to be able to have scoring go up, which is why we like to sit here and watch kind of the rat race of the high pace game, right? But bro, let's not talk about the gamemanship and let's not talk about the physicality of the game back then. Because I only think half these kids in the league could have been on an NBA team 20 years ago. It was too grown. I just don't believe that, bro. It's cap. Yeah, it's just not true. And I, and I was talking to Dwight about that. I'm just like, I, you can't make me believe that it, it was niggas back there killing. But I you can't make me believe saying. that an AE can't play 20. You just can't make me believe I don't that, think bro. He's and, that and, AE and, can't and also, play. it's just like niggas is not. Do, you can't get away with a triple step back back then, but you got to also remember you're not being taught a says, triple step back back then says, either. But says who? Just because the niggas that you played couldn't do Didn't a triple. Try it. They couldn't do it. Yeah. They could do it. Who's going? The Trail Sprewell, huh? Fred Hoyberg. <laughs> <laughs> huh? This is your starting five. Fred Hoiberg, Sam Cassell, or trust me, who was going to do a triple anything? Yeah. I, I Hoiberg, think he, 30 minutes, five shots. I don't give a fuck what he tried. I think like, he started on that, your that, team, dog. Yeah, like, nobody can play. Coming like, off the bench, 27 true. minutes, Mark Maston. <laughs> These niggas, what are you talking about? So Mark Maston can play... But AE can't get the fuck out of here, bro. No, this is not true. Play in this, the, these guys could play. I think he's just saying like the way that the the game was played, the style that we played in. He just feel like them guys can't play in it. But it's just not true. Again, it's not those guys didn't have to play. They 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 updated how we play. Now it's freedom of movement. Now these guys, like I know that. The guys in our area would have been hard to guard these guys. Now all these Euro steps and these different type moves they doing, we would have been lost because we was all, yeah, es it. especially as shot, a shot blocker like me, we used to one, two steps and people going up. They one, coming up two, opposite, wrong leg. You know, they, they doing different, yeah, all different type wrong shit. Foot. So, you know, <clears throat> obviously you got to adapt, you know, to your surroundings and stuff like that. And I think, Every single NBA player, if they had to play in a different era, er, uh, era, they can adapt to that era because they all had that mindset. But these these kids now, they've watched so much, and it's like it's like AI. They've they've learned Gilbert's game. They in the trainers that Gilbert has, the the I mean the trainers that um, are, are training these kids now. 
they showing them Gilbert's moves. They showing them job moves and every day and they're working on something uh, from one of these different players and it's making them better. So these players now, they got more skills, they got more talent. And they being able to see the game. We like would we didn't have, have all this stuff back would they, then. Would they have been able to score the same way in the in the two thousands? I'm talking about the two. It wasn't officiated the same. Irish twenty nine. Yeah. Like what they're saying is stop. Yeah, it's just not true. Bro. The nigga who can do it is going to do it. Yeah. Like, that's just the, the it, it is yeah. what it is. Yeah. The nigga who's going to do, niggas in the league then didn't do yeah. what they can do, right? I was a point guard that averaged 29 in the era that did, it didn't exist. Yeah. So how are you going to tell Steph and them who has more freedom? Or James Harden who's range, putting like 60, 15, More creativity and than I did saying they can't do it. You're capping. Yeah, it's not yeah. The reason I did it is because the niggas that was guarding me didn't know what the fuck was coming. Yeah. And they couldn't give it back to me. I'm giving you 39. My best competition giving me 19. Yeah. And then when niggas like, you didn't play no defense. I didn't have, who the fuck was I? <laughs> Fred Hoiberg. Yeah, yeah. Damon Jones. So, right? I didn't have to guard nobody. They didn't do it. But so, you're telling these guys, these guys are a triple version of me. Yeah. They're taking 20 something shots a game. Who's guarding them? Nobody. KG, I'm sorry. There's going to be a pick and roll. You're going to be in every single one of and them. Yep. And they're going to be island. putting you on the eye. Like, there is no so more yeah. you sitting on the block. Yeah, you can guard. Of course you can guard one through five. But, nigga, you're going to have to do it every night. And it's going to be Luka's going to do now. it. After you finish yeah. with Luka. Trey. Trey Young. Yep. Kyrie. Kyrie. D D Jamal D Murray. So, so Jay. He, 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 James is, Harden. Is, is it safe to say that now... Uh, the the players now are the most skilled that the NBA has ever seen. Yeah, in twenty years well, from I now, mean, that's just evolution. Yeah. So evolution. Yeah, evolution is it's the most skilled. What we've seen is we've seen more talent on one team than yeah. before. Like yep. when you look at a yeah. team, there's no Trent Hassels anymore. Yeah, that's that's a shooting guard. Yeah. Taking three shots. That, that's not that no. Don't exist. That it's, don't exist. It's like 40 niggas averaging 20 a game now. Yeah. In 2012, it was 10 niggas averaging 20. Now go to o, go go 06, 07. To four of us. Or like five. But what I'm saying is it's you have more people it was doing you, Ron, more Dirk, things. It was when, few, yeah. when 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 KG came into the league, the position he came to uh power four, that was a Brute guy. Uh, yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't so, like the. So he stretch. didn't have to really <clears throat> play defense on a, a dude that was coming at him like that. So there was really only what four of them. Yeah. Right. Him, Duncan. There was a e, the, him, Duncan, Dirt. Right. Yeah. Uh, uh, Carlos Boozer. Right. When I when I played, there was no. I'm trying to figure out who was the other all. Who was really an all star level guard? Offensively, um, that could that could go. Nobody like the, go like. Like Steve Francis was his talent was Cole, all, obviously his point. I'm talking about point guard. Oh, point guard. So yeah. Baron Davis was you know back you know depending on you know you had you know Steve Nash. Mulberry, Steve Nash, and you know how many niggas is seventy one. You got Dame. Like you got a nigga who ain't See? making all. He ain't making all star all NBA team averaging twenty seven. Because it's too many. It's, it's too many. The talent many. pool is crazy. I'm saying you, you know, can't tell me that nigga seven. can't play twenty eight. Who's guarding him? I was, okay, Ant Man can't. Who, who's guarding them? Who? Who? But Kobe, oh, cool. He gonna he gonna give him a run for his money. Yep. Now who? Bruce Bowen, Rajah Bell. Like who's his competition? So so. T Mac. Who's his competition? You know what I mean? Who's Steph? Who? Like even when the '80s talk. Okay, Magic Bird. I mean Magic and Isaiah. Now who else? He's running through the other 28 teams, bro. Yeah. It, John Morant, y'all not staying in front of this man's running through the yeah. That is just a contradiction to it. It's, just, it's also it's also even when they say things like uh you know you know they, they praise how physical like basketball was in the nineties even though obviously it was right people. it was like yeah, a lot of people see, flagrant I, fouls I niggas getting pulled cycles, out of the sky but I in actuality if you think about it cycles, like, it was like four six. teams doing shit like that and out of the four teams it was like two players on each team that were just playing the rest of the league wasn't playing like that bro. 
Like I think I think <clears throat> we we were we we forget that like in the nineties it was only like seven teams on television. Out of the seven. Four of those teams was playing dirty as shit. So we imagined that that was what the NBA was like. But all the other teams in the NBA was not playing like that. The Pistons was, yeah. The Bulls was, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, like, niggas, Phoenix wasn't playing like that. You know what I'm I saying? Like, Seattle crazy. wasn't yeah. playing That's like, like that. that. It was only Man. it was only a few teams that was really pulling niggas out the sky. Like, every team in the night. So when they say, oh, so-and-so couldn't play tonight, it was too physical. The four teams was. But it's, niggas, it's just a few. Like that's San Antonio wasn't playing you, like that. You can't speak like you can't speak for all. They try to like two people try to speak for the the, 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 whole, the, whole, the whole generation. Yeah. Right when when Ant Man said, "Y'all not that skill." Yeah. Besides Jordan, there's 29 other you. How, where are y'all? Who are y'all? None of y'all had 40 inch verticals like that. Y'all didn't. He, everybody in his position got a 40 cent. The only person that's in his position that can't, that's not athletic, damn near, is Clay Thompson. Yeah. Yeah. Right? It, that's it. Everybody else, you, them point guards, them John Morantz, y'all didn't have that. I'm sorry. Y'all yeah. didn't have that in the 80s. You didn't have a nigga. You didn't have nobody like him. And I, and, and I just don't You didn't like, have nobody like yeah. Like, I came into the league yeah. averaging 29 against point guards because you didn't have nobody like me. Yeah. What, yeah, what are you going to do with them? <laughs> you you wouldn't have did it in my era. Who was stopping me? Facts. What were you going to do? You couldn't hand check me. And then you're, you're fucking 6'1", fucking 185 pounds. Yeah. Relax. And then, and then you get the anomaly, right? You get the one guy who could like... Do everything. Maybe do it. And he'll speak, oh, yes, we could. Like, nigga, you could, maybe. You could. But it's 400 other niggas who couldn't, bro. Like... Magic Johnson, you're the unicorn. You're a top five player of all time. I don't give a fuck where area you're at. Yeah. You are Magic Johnson. Now, what about the rest of the niggas who yeah, played everybody <laughs> for, 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 for 10 years? They couldn't do it. Like, I just like when some, like, like it'd be a guard, like, yeah, if y'all was in my area, y'all couldn't have scored. Then I'd be like, if your area was so tough, how the fuck did you score? Facts. <laughs> like, you, you, you're 6'1, 165 pounds. Yeah. You average 20. I'm watching it. Yeah. How was it so easy for you? I'm 6'4, 215. Yep. Even uh, they they be mad about That's me because I always bring up Brown, right? Niggas, oh, oh, Brown couldn't play. Like, the nigga came in two thousand three. You got to talk about. and the Pals was two thousand four. The league went soft. The league went <laughs> like in in my generation, right? I was born ninety four. In my generation, the best defensive team I ever seen with my own eyes was that Detroit Pistons team in two thousand four. Facts. You could. This, did the nigga Brown score twenty seven points man, in the fourth quarter against when, them niggas? When, te- when people you talk, can't like what the fuck are we talking? This just is not true. When people talk about physical and real defense, the two thousand four Pistons. I never seen nothing like it. Was a defense that them. There was nobody dirty on that team, man. Yeah. It wasn't clothesline. Man. Them niggas went there, locked your ass Facts. down. It was holding teams to seventy points. Facts. Right, that that is the best defensive team. You're My not gonna basket, yeah. you're not gonna tell nobody who played against them yeah. in that era and say cap. I don't give a fuck what era you go through. There's no player that played against them. There's no team like we was trying to figure out how to score more than eighty points to try to win the game. Well, ben, like we knew they wasn't gonna score that many points. Yeah, <clears throat> we was trying to figure. All right, how are we gonna generate points, y'all? How we gonna how we gonna get <laughs> that boy, our score, nigga scores look like Dwight Howard. Howard. Yeah. 40, 5, 5, 5, 5, 4. They should everybody the fuck down. Yeah. And, and what I'm saying, so so if you can get a nigga to score like that on them, it's like they they, they, they just be, say it. You know right? why? What's that? Just like an old nigga back in the day. He think he's better than what he really was yeah. because he only faced him. When Dennis Rodman said, LeBron's easy to score. I mean, easy to stop. He got no moves. That's, that was the craziest thing I've ever heard in my life. What moves the fuck did you have when you was playing? <laughs>